everyone ready for me to begin? Excellent. Lincoln-Douglas debate, or LD, addresses what we value. During a round, questions on morality, justice, or how society should function are examined. Essentially, LD examines the merit of various ideals. This values debate is centered on a resolution or debate topic. On the affirmative side, a student advocates for the resolution. The negative, then, opposes the resolution. Each student presents his or her case, sometimes called a constructive or position, and refutes his or her opponent's arguments. By the end of the debate, you decide the debater most successful in defending his or her side of the resolution. There are a few considerations to keep in mind when determining the winner. Structure of argumentation, framework level argumentation, and offense back to the standard. Well-structured argumentation. Debate is an exchange of ideas between two debaters. As a judge, you are not determining who is the better speaker, but rather who is the better debater in that round. A successful debater will focus on advancing his or her ideas while invalidating his or her opponent's ideas. The cases presented and the refutations provided both require well-developed argumentation. Declarations relying on charismatic delivery are not well-developed arguments. To have a complete argument, a debater should establish his or her claim, or response to the opponent's claims, the warrant, or why the declaration is true, and establish impact, or why it matters. Note. In LD, all offensive arguments should link back to a standard. Arguments lacking this structure should not be given the same weight as fully developed arguments. Simply put, you are not evaluating dueling speeches, but rather an interactive exchange of ideas where each debater is responding to the other's argument. Framework level repeating arguments presented in the round. Each debater should provide a framework or a standard they think the judge should use to evaluate the round. The debater will explain to the judge why you should use his or her framework as a basis to decide who wins. Therefore, each debater must respond to his or her opponent's framework. Typically, because of the broad nature of LD topics, a debater proposes a value or an ideal based upon the topic. Examples include justice or morality. After the value is established, a debater proposes the value criterion, a specific means of measuring if the value is achieved. If justice is the value, an appropriate criterion could be protection of rights because a debater can justify that protection of rights leads to justice. As you evaluate the debate, ask yourself, what framework are you using to compare arguments? Are you using the framework presented by the affirmative or the negative? The framework you use to evaluate the round should be the one better defended. Note on your ballot why you determined to use one framework over the other. It's important to note, the value and criterion is a common approach to framework analysis, but other approaches shouldn't be discredited. Offensive argumentation. After determining the framework you're using in the round, it is necessary to decide who is winning it. Just because you determine one debater's framework is preferable for the round does not guarantee that debater wins the round. Sometimes the affirmative framework is used, but the negative shows how they better achieve that framework than the affirmative, and vice versa. The debater must prove how his or her side leads to the standard being achieved. Arguments failing to connect back to the standard are not offensive. When a debater denies the validity of an opponent's claim or takes out the link between the argument and the framework, they are not making offensive arguments. Think of it like sports. The defense stops the opponent from scoring. Defensive arguments can be valuable, 
but they are not proactive reasons one debater wins. At the end of the debate, you are determining which debater best meets the standard through offensive argumentation. Ignore arguments introduced for the first time in the final rebuttal by a debater. This is important because the opposing side may not have any opportunity to respond to a new argument. When determining which arguments best persuaded you, consider whether the opposing debater had an opportunity to respond. An argument presented for the first time in one of the last two speeches does not meet this standard and should be disregarded by the judge. Finally, it's important to note, your role as a judge is to evaluate the competing arguments made by the debaters. Your views on a topic and your beliefs on how to respond to an argument should not factor into your decision. Since debaters are required to argue both sides of a topic, it is necessary for the judge to remove any personal biases when evaluating the round. Thank you for judging and enjoy the experience.